Hey, it's Four Marie, and welcome to episode 21 of Friday Sews. In this, excuse me, Special delivery. I, I'm in the middle of filming here. I can't help you with that, but here's your package. A package? Oh, thank you. Take care. A box? What could it be? Ooh, and there's a card. Okay. Hmm. Oh, it's so pretty. Wow. Um, is this is this me? Hmm. Does it look like me? I don't know. It says, "Oh, wow! Happy birthday, Miss Formery." Okay. And you need to open this box right away. All right. Well, hey. I guess this isn't going to be a February makes video, but it's going to be an unboxing video. So stick around. Hi, it's for Marie. And today I have a birthday box unboxing. Yes. I'm so excited. This is going to be a good one. Hopefully you will like it too. So stick around if you want to see what is in my birthday box. Today I'll be unboxing some scrumptious linen fabric from an online fabric store that offers very affordable prices to their customers based on the fact that they work directly with their mills. The website information also informs their customers that their fabrics are environmentally friendly and no part of the linen production causes air, noise, or water pollution. 100% natural fibers are wonderful to sew with and to wear, and that is why okay. linen is one of Here my is. top choices. As you can see, I'm really drawn to those beautiful, you know, rich colors, uh, not necessarily pastels, but just, you know, the jewel tones. I think they're really pretty and they go well with my wardrobe. So that is what I ordered. Let's check it out. Okay, so I've got an invoice and a little business card, which is nice, of course, and important. Let's see what you spent. Make sure the order is correct. And let's check out this haul. All right, so the first the first uh, piece of linen is called Blush Softened. Oh, and all of these uh, pieces are medium weight. They are not the lightweight and they are not the heaviest weight. So they have uh, a variety on the scale of weights and this, these are medium weights. So on this one, I've this one is lighter than I, what I normally get, but we are coming up into the spring and summer and this I ordered a yard of just to make sure that I could live with the color, I could use it as a lining. Another thing that I thought would be great for this particular um, piece of fabric is an Ogden cami. And this particular one though, I think you're gonna need about a yard and a quarter. Uh, there's enough width so I could maybe um, incorporate some ivory with this or something, or just order more if I really, really wanted to make that cami out of this. But I thought that that it would be really good for a base, like layering piece. So that's really pretty, I like it. Let's look at the next one. This one is called Nine Iron Softened, and I got three yards on this. I didn't want black. I'm really steering away from black and going with good neutrals that are a little bit softer for my skin tone. So this one is really, really pretty. A lot of um, makers that use this, uh, is show, it's showcased on the website so you can get ideas of what to make with this. But I have a couple of ideas that I wanted to share with you on this particular one. On this particular one, there's a couple of patterns. One that I've talked about before, the Pietra Pant and Short, which uh, all of the variations 
would only require, let's see, about two and a half yards or less. So I have enough to make a short or the different style pants on that in that nine iron or this Berta, which is a new pattern that I got not too long ago. This is number 6436. There's a flare leg and a um, crop leg, and there, I think these are all 58 inches wide, um, no more than about two and a half yards. So I definitely would have enough. And I think that that would be also a good option for that nine iron. So there's a couple of pant options that I can make with that. And actually, this really pairs beautifully with this. Moving on. This is called, oh wow, super soft, super soft. This is called Blue a Signature Finish. And I also got three yards on this because this could be a beautiful dress, a beautiful skirt. Gosh, it feels amazing. So there is the blue signature finish. Let me see, what did I pull? You know what, one thing would be cute for that. Um, I haven't made this, this is in my stash. This is Liesl & Co. It is called the Bistro Dress. I know it's been out a while, but I still have not made it. And one of the fabric suggestions is a linen, and it looks like you wouldn't need any more than about between two and a fourth to maybe three yards. So I would definitely have enough to sew up this dress if I wanted to for the spring and or summer. Not sure about the little collar for me, but they do have an another neckline option which is on view A. And you can still do the short sleeves if you didn't want to go long, but that's cute. So that's an option. There's more. All right, so look at this beautiful color. It is called Crimson and oh man, it's beautiful. This is that signature finish. So it's super soft, super, super soft and they must have uh, run it through kind of a, a, a washing process because of the softness of this. It's amazing. Now on this, I got two yards. So I have a little bit of an idea for this one. This would be super fun if you have the book or you still can order the book. This is Breaking the Pattern by Named Pattern Company. And this particular blouse Ruffles are so in. It's really cute. It is sleeveless. I don't know. I might add um, a, maybe a sleeve to it. I don't know. But it's also a great layering piece. So sleeveless would be super cute. It has a band collar buttoned down with those ruffles. And it requires, again, because this is wider uh, for the 60 inch wide all the, all the sizes across from size one to nine, it looks like the most you would need is between about a yard and a half to two yards of fabric to make that. So that is an idea for that red linen. Something like that could be super, super fun for the spring and summer. And that would pair well with the iron if you wanted to make a pant out of that, super cute. Uh, the sky's the limit. The imagination is whatever you dream of when you sew, right? So that is so pretty. I love the signature finish. I've never gotten it before. It's amazing. Next, this is called Folk Stone Gray. I don't remember picking this particular one out, but it is a pretty kind of a blue gray to me, a dolphin gray. Um, and this is also that signature finish and I have two yards on that. So two yards, uh, the wider width will get me far on that with lots of options. So I can see, I don't know. I'm not sure on this one. Let's see, what did I pull? 
what did I pull? I could do another one of the tops that I'm wearing. So this top, I'll insert a picture of me modeling it, but this is called the Lara set. And the set includes the top and the tunic dress. The dress has pockets, obviously the top does not, but it's got a contrasting sleeve, which is super, super fun. And it has a uh, crop in the front and then it's longer in the back. Again, I'll insert a picture so you can see it. I don't know if you can stand up and see it. It's longer in the back, shorter in the front, and I actually made it longer. Um, but it's super fun. And so something like this could work. Let me see, on the top, you would only need a yard and a half of the main fabric. So this stretchy linen that I've made this out of, you would only need a yard and a half of it for all sizes, it says. And then for the contrast in the sleeves and the hem edge, you would need about uh, three fourths of a yard. So something like this could be super, cool with let's say these um i got these a while ago some art gallery um fat quarters i don't know i could maybe if they're fat quarters that's obviously not going to be enough for the contrast sleeve but if there was one that i really liked i could always order um, a little extra so there's all kinds of different options there to add that pop of color that would be super super fun I wanted to mention too that the Lara set pattern actually came in a package with this sewing magazine. This is Simply Sewing and this is issue number 34. So I don't know if you save your sewing magazines or if the, this is even available, but it was in a packet with uh, this particular issue. So that is the Lara set and it was on page 47 for more detailed information. All right, it looks like I have one more, one more piece of beautiful linen and this one I also ordered three and this is called, it's the signature finish and it's the color agave so there it is oh man another beautiful beautiful piece that i can do lots of different things with um, this is going to fit really well in my wardrobe and i mean it goes with so much so pretty so pretty now one garment that i've really wanted to sew is actually in the let me grab it. This is so fun. Look at all these things, all these things. <laughs> all right, so this is in the Merchant and Mills workbook, and I know that is still available. I know that I saw it on Amazon. I'm sure you can get it at many different um, fabric stores. I know that Merchant and Mills Direct has this. So this is a treasure. I love this book. And one particular garment that I think is amazing and practical and wouldn't require a lot of fabric. It uh, looks like you would only need between 1.45 meters to 1.75 or 70 meters. It's called the Heron Wrap Top. And there it is. That was actually, I think, on my Make 9 for this year, which I don't think I even shared with you guys. I, I have it, but um, this is really a beautiful piece that you can put over a blouse. Um, it's just a good layering piece and so simple for a beginner. I think this would be a great pattern. So that has definitely be, been on my wish list for a long, long time. And I, I think any of these fabric pieces of linen uh, would work beautifully with this particular wrap top. So that's definitely going to be one of them. So, so that is my birthday haul. Oh my gosh. Lots of linen in solids. But again, you know, for me, I love prints, but I tend to use them as accents. So like in the cuff example, or 
Um, I love scarves and I'm trying to incorporate more prints, but you know, you have to, you have to stick with what you feel comfortable with. And, you know, um, I can just embellish on lots of other ways with lace, embroidery, uh, just you name it. So that's the birthday box of fabrics. Um, I will link the store and of all the patterns too and ideas that I've mentioned, I'll go ahead and put those in the description box. And um, yeah, that's it for now. So thanks for watching and I hope you're sewing. I hope you're having a happy time uh, doing lots of other things that are creative as well. And I'll see you next time in the sewing room. Bye. Hey, it's Glory, and welcome, welcome to the I didn't know, I didn't know. Birthday, 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 birthday. It doesn't show, it doesn't show. Were you asleep? Was it a dream? Let's go have some.